okay? And then when I want to read from that file, there are a few different basic options. Let's say it's a, a regular text file. MyFile.read will take the entire contents of the whole file and put them into a string variable. MyFile.read with an argument, it takes an integer. If I give it an integer, it will read that number of characters from the file, starting at the beginning. Okay, so if I read 10, it will give me the first 10 characters. I can also read a file one line at a time. This is really helpful for processing CSV files or any kind of data file, right? So I can read it one line at a time. And the nice thing about this is that every time I call this, my file will keep track of what line I'm on. So if I call this three times, it will read me the first three lines. It won't read me the first line three times. So if I have, let's say, if I have a text file that looks like this, it's just plain old text. I choose open. Sometimes PyCharm freaks out a little bit. And I open it for reading. Okay. Now notice when I'm when I'm doing my file dot read. I'm using that, that is the object, and this is the method of that object. So it's a function that belongs to my file. So my file dot read, and I'm giving it no arguments. And then I'm gonna print or actually I want to print the text variable, str text. There we go. So if I want to print that. So when I run that, it just prints out what's in that file. Now if I wanted to read only the first 10 characters of that into the variable, I just add that argument. Just gives me the first 10 characters, which happens to be line one. If I go 15 characters, it'll stop halfway through line two. By the way, that integer uh, includes invisible characters, line breaks, spaces, that sort of thing. Those are all characters. So you have to figure that into your uh, thinking. So if I go read line, it will, it will give me the first line. If I repeat this three times, it will print each line. Okay, so each time I'm reading read line, okay, each time I read read line, it's going to the next line of that file, and it keeps track of which one I'm on, which is really nice, because then it allows me to process that file one line at a time using line breaks. So reading from a file is really just using one of these two methods, with or without argument, and it's putting that into a string variable that we can then do all kinds of things with.